Hey everybody, James Jago Tavern Response. Booyah! See, Glock 40. You, you never thought it would happen, did you? No, this is a Glock Model 40. <laughs> Not a 40 caliber pistol. Well, it is a 40 caliber pistol. I mean, 40 caliber for men, 10 millimeter. And um, so let's talk about this. Got this from TJ's Gun Sales. Um, check those guys out. Uh, you, you know, you can do mail order, of course, no matter where you live. But if you're in Oregon, uh, they're your local Tetra Spots alumni that own a gun shop. That's where uh, uh, the Haas USMC works. And, uh, and then uh, Troy, the, the owner of multi-class alumni and good friend, good, good fellow. And uh, we were talking and... Uh, he, and he was, uh, we were talking about, he's like, hey, James, you know, what, what, what you know, because he sent me that Mossberg Shotwave. He said, hey, what's another project we could work on? And I said, well, Troy, let's, let's combine a few. And uh, and I said, people have been asking me about a 10 millimeter. And they've been asking me about red dots on pistols. And they've been asking me about long range shooting. <laughs> and so, so this is a, a, a 10 millimeter uh, with a dot on it six inch barrel <laughs> we'll try some some long distance shooting i got a, a set of suppressor height sights coming from xs hopefully pretty soon and uh, i got this uh, loophole uh, delta point on here and i'm really i'm really starting to like it really getting used to getting that out in front of me and seeing that dot and uh and then the ammo i'm shooting is uh arms core um i got uh i don't know anybody out there so this is not me like this is not me being a shill i don't know anybody at the place uh, and I've never shot this ammo before. Um, uh, ammo Supply Warehouse out in Las Vegas. Um, Buell, a uh, multi-class alumnus Buell uh, that also works for Fiocchi, recommended this this company. I've bought ammo from them now for, uh, for the last few months, but they had a smoking deal on 10 mil. Now, I don't know if they still got any, but like it was um, 239 per thousand of this arm cord and i'd never shot it and i posted up in my alumni forum and several guys said yeah he shot it here's what's funny you post up about ammo I go, what about this ammo? oh it's kind of dirty but it shoots good like it's all dirty <laughs> i don't get i don't get it but anyway uh so let's go uh let's get out there to the range and uh <laughs> let's uh let's get some 10 mil down the tube of this thing all right, now we're at the range. I got uh, my faithful compadre, cameraman, and spotter, Nate Garrison here. And uh, we've already put a rough uh, a coordinate, a coordinates on it. Um, Nate was shooting it, like literally just kind of freehanding it, and I was going zzz, 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 zzz. So we got, it, we got it on the paper. And so what we're ultimately trying to do, we're at, I don't know, 25 yards? About 25 yards. Just trying to get some type of zero started on it today. And, um, but, uh, but we've already been shooting a little bit and what are you thinking? I like it. It's a lot of guns, a man gun, a man gun. Uh, but, uh, let's, uh, let's do some shoots in. And I'm using, uh, the, uh, uh, Invicta, uh, AR, XAR case for, a, for, a, a rest. I don't, I don't think they'll mind. <laughs> Yeah, my, my shooting glasses. All right, here we go. That felt good. Is it six o'clock there below the... Six o'clock, exact. Two inches. Go up. One, two, three, four clicks up. Let's see what that does for us. Again. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> now I've gone too high. Okay, I'll back it off. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'm gonna fire three rounds this time. Let's 
So, down and left a little bit? Yes. I'm going to go two clicks down and two clicks left. Yeah, you're just you're just touching the, the outside of that red bullseye. All right. What happened there? Uh, it looks like you put all three of them just 12 o'clock high, right in the same hole. So it needs to go lower? Mm-hmm. Same hole. Well, color me impressed. <laughs> yep. Hit. Hit. Where at? Like in the middle of the middle? Uh, you were hitting top right of the bullseye. Okay, I'm gonna go. So maybe one click each, you know, down. One I'm gonna click go left. down one, and I'm gonna go left one. Yes. Probably should go ahead and change my axe. I'm gonna aim at that dot at six o'clock. All right. It's tiny. I think that was me. That was definitely me. That one felt good. <laughs> uh, your second one, you're actually touching the bullseye. Okay. How about the one at 3 o'clock? All right. Uh, so your last your last two are real close, but bottom right. Okay. Where, where's the first one at? Uh, it's just off the yellow paper. You can see. Um, okay. At like three o'clock. Hmm. Must have been the wind. <laughs> I thought I kicked up. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right one more click. I mean left one more click. All right. And what do you think I should do on the height? Just leave it for now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now over to uh, 9 o'clock. Did see That felt good. That one did. Uh, you put it right through the same hole. Let's go look. <laughs> if they if they quit all their shooting over there, we could get a damn video done, Nate. <laughs> Ne'er do wells. All right. All right, Nate. So you you kind of correct me, or when I when I go wrong. But these were the the first ones we fired mm -hmm. in through here. Then we went down here. Yep. Yeah, you had one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Then you had one, two, three. And then you had one, one, two, two three. three. I'm calling that zeroed. I'm really starting to like it. Really starting to like it. We'll get it out, and I'll get the the the, the magnums back out. We'll get this thing back out. And we'll start doing some some longer range stuff. See how far away we can reliably hit uh, steel targets with these. Um, but uh, the, the Glock, it's, this is the uh, Glock 40, the MOS, that it comes with the different mounting plates to mount different optics, standard trigger in it, standard 5.5 pound trigger. Um, 
people are asking me if it's a Gen 5. Of course, it's not. I don't think. Uh, I don't even know if it's a Gen 4. How the hell do I look at it? It's not, it's not Ambi, so Gen 3, right? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever the, four, whatever the 40 MOS is. But 6-inch uh, barrel, 10 mil. This is, this is a good shooting gun. Like this is a nice gun, very very accurate, very very nice gun, very nice gun. I'm looking very forward to uh, getting it out, stretching it out, and and and, and man, I've, I've always loved 10 millimeter, always loved 10 millimeter. But uh, got questions about it? Uh, again, thank you uh, TJ's Gun Sales, thank you Troy and Haas, you guys up there. We'll see you soon. We'll be there. Uh, they're gonna um, we're gonna get up there. And we'll be doing some classes in Oregon in 2018 over there with uh, Hoffs and Josh. And we'll, we'll, we'll sort all that out and let you know. But uh, we'll, we'll be up there. And uh, maybe I'll bring this. <laughs> TJ's Gun Sales. Check those guys out if you live up in Oregon. If you want to go in and stop and talk to dudes behind a gun counter that know what they're talking about. <laughs> James Jacob for Tattle Sponsor reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.